Now to the Glenelg Cinema. Uh, Spence Denny is uh, down at Glenelg with Sam Cannell, a local resident, very unhappy about the demolition of the cinema. Uh, what's the latest, Spence? Uh, Ian, we're back outside the Glenelg Cinema Centre on this uh, early Monday morning. I've just seen somebody go into the uh, to theatre. I don't know what they're going to do in there. And I'm uh, with uh, Sam Cannell again, who we met last week, who's been behind this campaign to try and retain the building. Sam, a lot's happened between now and last week when we first met, hasn't it? It has. Um, there's been quite a bit of progress on the interior. Um, when we spoke last week, they're only just beginning. I've been trying to peer in each morning and take photos. And I think um, on Thursday morning, there was a big pile of carpet and seats in there. And then on Friday morning, it was pretty well cleared out, the front foyer. Um, there's nothing left on the floor, nothing left on the walls. So they're obviously making pretty good progress inside. Um, but obviously, you're just left to guess about what the state of the interior is like now. Yeah, so um, we've just seen a contractor walk out again and yeah. spotted us and walk straight, <laughs> straight back in. So, um, um, And I see also all the flyers that you had all over the place um, have now been removed, haven't they? Yeah, that's not a big surprise. I mean, obviously, I think um, this is you know a controversial issue and um, I think um, they've wanted to keep it as quiet as they can, but unfortunately, um, I haven't allowed that to happen. And um, unfortunately, we don't really know what's going on or what the fate is for this building and how soon it could be coming down and what's also planned for the future. We don't know if the building contract's been signed or if it's just going to be left as an empty site. It's really devastating for the local area and we're really in the dark at the moment about what's going on. Well, uh, I know that the 891 Morning Program, Ian Hinsky spoke with um, a representative from Wallace last week. Have you had any contact from them at all? No, still nothing at all. Um, and I, I don't think anyone else in the community has. Um, I understand that they are working with Taplin to perhaps um, try and sort something out there, but I really don't know what's going on on that front either and the way they're progressing. Um, I would have thought if that, if that deal was going to go through, they perhaps would halt work for even just a few days to sort things out. But at the moment, there's still tradesmen on site every day. Have you had any contact at all from the Holdfast Bay Council? Um, only from Mayor Ken Rowland, who came to sign the petition, um, but that's about all. I understand um, from sort of word on the street that Wallace um, have been charged a hoarding fee for when the demolition occurs, but whether that's been paid or not, I don't know, and nothing else official from, from the, the council. There's really nothing they can do. They're powerless to stop this from happening. Mm. This has become a big part of your life, hasn't it? It has. Look, it has sort of taken over the last few weeks, but I am passionate about it, and like I've said all along, for me, it's not only about this historical building, but it's also about the use of the site and what happens afterwards. And at the moment in Glenelg, we really don't need any more shops. We really need some entertainment here and the area should be bustling. It's a tourist precinct, not a shopping mall. Yeah, well as a tram rolls past us, obviously it is I think you know, it's a place for people who visit Adelaide automatically come to because of the ease to do so. Just, just how, would you have any idea of how many empty shops there would be down here at the moment? Look, a few weeks ago we counted about 23. That included side streets. Um, a couple of those have filled in the last week. Um, they now have lease signs on them. But the rumour is on the street that there's possibly 10 more tenancies that are going to be coming up in the next few months that won't be renewed. So if that happens, there will be a lot of empty shops, which we really don't need. So to add another eight or so more in a new development it's just not it's not the right time the area really needs something else and a cinema would be perfect we've tried to be supportive of Wallace and said we will come we will put money in your pockets please listen to the people it's it's the last chance now please take the time don't rush this demolition through mm. well Ian is about to speak with your local federal member and Steve Georgianis yep. who's also made his feelings fairly clear uh, on a on a federal basis hasn't he he has and I think the the thing with Steve coming out with his support is it's fantastic for the local area Steve has a wonderful understanding of what it means for the whole area but also for the entire state. Glenelg is a really big tourist draw card and we don't want to turn it into just another shopping strip. We have to look at it from a whole state perspective and that's what Wallace really needs to see as well. Sam Kennell, thank you. Thank you very much, Ben. Spence Denny there talking to Sam Kennell. Now to Steve Georgianis, the Federal Labor MP for Hindmarsh, who spoke in the Federal Parliament last week saying that he clearly supports um, the Save the Glenelg Cinema campaign. What can you do, though, to save it? Um, Ian, it's a very difficult one. Uh, it's uh, one of those uh, situations where all you can do is throw as much support behind it and to let people know that uh, it is so important to have a cinema down there. Now, we know Glenelg, as we heard from Sam, is one of South Australia's most visited tourist destinations, but, of course, in the colder months, 
Um, there's a, a few major drawcards because, as we all know, uh, the beach has limited appeal in winter when it's uh, a day like today with winds and uh, rain, etc. So uh, what the Glenelg Cinema uh, used to do is draw people in, and it's so important for the area to have a draw card to bring people into the um, into the strip, into the into the so-called high street. Let's call it a high street, as as they were known many many years ago, where people would come in, uh, watch a movie, and then perhaps go out, get a cup of coffee, a meal, um, buy something, etc. So it's so, so important in a tourist destination like Jetty Road, like Glenelg, uh, to have the cinema there. So that's why I've thrown my uh, support behind the Save the Wallace uh, cinema. But the people who, who know the cinema game say you need more than three screens to survive and that it's just not making money, so it's a, an economic decision. Yeah, look, it's a difficult one, uh, but like Sam said, there is enormous support. Um, there's enormous support for the cinemas down there and people would patronise it. There is absolutely no doubt that um, it, it's a destination that uh, just about every South Australian will visit Glenelg on one occasion throughout the year. Uh, it, is a, uh, it is a focal point for tourism and we know that uh, a cinema would work down there if, if, uh, if there was uh, one to be, uh, a new one to be built or, or, to be re or to replace the Wallace Cinema. It's just so important for all the traders down there and for the community in Glenelg. Uh, well, Kerry from Fulham has uh, sent us a text saying, I have five children. If the Glenelg cinemas are demolished, we will never go to Wallace Theatres again. So there's some people out there with some strong feelings. But perhaps given the fact that it seems that economics is going to rule the day here, what about the actual building itself? Because the building was... Um, designed by a very famous uh, South Australian architect, uh, Ken Milne, who did the, um, the scoreboard at the Adelaide Oval, who did a lot of buildings in South Australia. Can you in some way save the exterior of the building? Well, that would be wonderful. It, it, the, uh, the Art Deco building and the architecture, um, it was constructed in 1937, as you said, by uh, Ken Milne, uh, who also designed the 1911 uh, Adelaide Oval scoreboard. So that would be wonderful to, 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 uh, to uh, keep that beautiful building there and to ensure that it survives. Uh, there have been many, many people uh, uh, who have written, who have phoned, emailed Wallace in recent weeks, urging them to... Uh, uh, not demolish the uh, building and to uh, reopen the cinema, of course. And there's marble also, staircases in there right. as well, um, so it, it are they going to get smashed up? Uh, at this point, we don't know what they're doing in there, but as Sam said, uh, a lot's being done in the last few days, and uh, the, uh, uh, the sadness is that uh, it may have got to that stage already. The, uh, I'm, I'm discussing this with the Mayor of um, Holfast Bay, who's over here in Canberra this week, and uh, I'll be catching up with him uh, in, in uh, a day or so to have a bit of a chat to him about it to see what can be done because it's so important, as I said, um, also the beautiful Art Deco building that uh, exists there, but also the importance to the area in drawing people in. And if you look at a cinema like Wallace, it could have drawn in a couple of thousand people a week. That's 2,000 people less going down Jetty Road now because they're not there. What about the Marion Cinema? That, that's now um, serving alcohol. Do you think um, that might have been an, a solution there, Steve Georg Georgianis? Um, look, anything to draw people in. I think there's more to it than just that the cinema wasn't making money. Um, it is in a, uh, a very high-sought area uh, in one of Adelaide's most uh, um, high-sought uh, uh, real estate uh, places, I suppose. And I think there's more to it than just uh, the cinema wasn't making money. I mean, uh, if you do your maths and uh, see what's going on around the area, many buildings are being knocked down and, uh, uh, you know, whether it's retail or apartments or whatever, uh, seems to be more profitable for owners nowadays and uh, it's unfortunate. But um, I think there's more to it than the cinema not making money. Thanks for your time this morning, Steve Georgianis. Uh, keep us posted on uh, the developments there with your discussions with the Mayor, Federal Certainly MP will. and the Labor, for, Labor member for Hindmarsh.